turned into churches. So, there you go. Yeah, this definitely looks like some sort of, uh, like a, a Viking temple. Reminds me a little bit of, like, the wonder that Vikings have in Age of Empires. Except, of course, you see the crosses. And, oh, well, will you look at this. I love this. It's a cemetery. Who doesn't want to end up in a cemetery? Oh, boy. Okay. So... Hello? Hello? Uh, spooky religious chanting. Hello? Okay. So this is kind of fucked up. Um, it's an abandoned temple church thing. I mean, look at the windows. It's not that in of themselves they're, they're scary. But they're pretty scary, I, I have to admit. Um, okay. So it's made out of, like, wood and, and glass and... And it definitely looks like someone just decided to add this clock tower and, and the crosses afterwards. So this was probably... I, I was right. This was probably some sort of pagan temple before it was appropriated by whatever Christian cult came and, um, and took it. And, and I do apologize. If, if you are a member of the cult of Christians that actually worships, worships, worships here, um, then forget that I called you a cult. A cult. A cult. Oh, a cult. Ihr Ruben in Gott mein lieben Frau zu schnell da Schnonenberg. Um, died 1874, or born 1874, died 1934. And that, I believe, is German. Did we, did we even, like, figure out where the hell we were? I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's sort of like a Viking pagan temple. I mean, Germany is a good candidate for it, I guess. Um, although, uh, Vikings more common to, I guess, Scandinavian countries, so, um... My apologies for mixing that up. Um, okay, a uh, lot of a lot of just random graves. Maybe we'll find something though that that that'll help. That looks these look like uh, like Catholic symbols. I don't know. I I I I took some time to study some religion, but um, it's been a long time. So I haven't necessarily been paying, like, the most attention. Uh, and at the same time, I also don't want to do, like, a deep analysis of whatever it is that, that, that I'm finding. Okay, I can't go down there. I can't just, like, hop off the rocks. Oh. Oh. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh. I call shenanigans. Look at this. Ah, uh, this is what worth. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the Van de Griff, um, This is the Van de Griff tomb, and there seems to be some sort of weird bird arrow symbol. Oh, fuck! Inspect. Bohemian star, wing of the crow, crew's feet, Nero's cross, witch's foot, sacrificed Klapoth. A sigil. Hmm, interesting. What do we have here? Mortar, towel, pile of bricks. Work, dropped, interrupted. Hmm. Wheelbarrow. Okay, so it, it looks like someone was going to seal this crypt. Um, but didn't get very far, did they? Okay. So let's just, before we try and, and go down uh, to that point, we really need to see if we can find something, like uh, like some more clues. Oh, here we go. Inspect. Burnt matches, oil can, spilled oil, brown stain, oil lamp. 
oil lamp. So, where... I remember... Ah, okay, there we go. Okay. Perfect. So it seems like we have to go get an oil lamp over in the church. I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's the, uh, the the situation. I'm getting the hang of this again. I, I forgot. Oh, oops. Um, I forgot exactly how this game used to play out. But um, it, it, I, I, I now remember. Okay. So... I feel like it was, it was maybe around one of these, ah, here we go. Okay, ah, exactly, yes. Rotate, so it's, it's kind of broken, right? I'm gonna take it. Okay, and, and these stairs are broken and there's nothing really up that tower and now we can sort of like leave this um, creepy old place. And we're gonna head back, I guess, to the uh, to where the the crypt is. And I think we put we put the lamp back down, right? Um, so we put the the oil lamp back, and uh, hopefully we'll get another clue. Uh, we'll see. Okay, let's fix this oil lamp. Okay. So we have the oil lamp. We have the wheelbarrow. Um, what else? All right. Uh, if I don't make it back, everybody, just, just remember where you parked your car because I'm not driving you back. Okay. Ooh. Inspect. We, we, we better inspect before. A handle. Crow, crow. Bro, how about we pull this? Crow. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Perfect. It's it's next to. We have to go fetch the crow, and it's next to or close to the Jesus statue. I remember. I remember having done all of this uh, uh, this trek at one point. I mean, it was literally a couple minutes ago, so. Um, yes, so it seemed like it was somewhere around... I remember. The, the statue was there. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. Ah, here we go. Oh, there's a bit of, um, there's a bit of blood, there's a bit of blood on it, so we'll take it, and what is this? Is this something we're missing here? Did we not properly inspect this before? Ah, signs of struggle, several different footprints, no blood trail, killed, wounded, victim, blood stain, okay. We have this. We've got this. There's the sigil. There's the lamp. And we're actually just going to go ahead. Go down here. And fix this, I guess, by putting in, like, a like another crow. Right? Let's, let's see what this does. I hope it's not some sort of spooky, sinister... Oh... Well, uh, it, it, it was definitely spooky and sinister, so... Shit. Okay, let's... Cause of death. Chest wound, no blood, post-mortem. Facial cut, shallow, minimal bleeding. Back wound, blood streaks. Single attacker, multiple attackers? Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a crow dagger. I see. So... Uh, ceremoniously, I guess? We'll take the dagger. 
And I guess we're gonna have some sort of vision now. Ah, okay. It doesn't seem to be revealing much. Right. So... There's some sort of sigil, right? There's the tomb. There's the wheelbarrow. There's the sigil. And then there's the oil lamp. I see. So, how do we... Hmm. Do we have all the pieces of the puzzle? That's the question, I think. Right? We, we want to make sure that we, we find everything and pretty much solve the mystery. I hope. We've got a wheelbarrow. We've got some bricks. So we found the crow. We found the bricks. And, I mean, we found everything so far. I'm just wondering what else could there be? What else could we be missing? Okay. So we have the dagger, and the dagger is covered in blood. And there doesn't seem to be much more. Maybe, oh, you know what it is? I bet that I'm missing something in the track bloodstain. Okay, yes. You know what it is? I think I'm th I think we're missing something here. Maybe it's down this way. Could it possibly be down this way? Oh, shit. Yes. There seems to be some sort of demonic Oh, shit. That's here. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. And I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Does death bring peace or suffering? Does death bring peace or suffering? Oh! Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? Uh, maybe? Um... Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? Um, not really. I'm not a jerk, but... Do you take that which you know you will not return? Uh, I mean, unless it's a sandwich? I'm not entirely... Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? I mean, I mean, both things, I guess. Does sin come from the heart or the mind? Um, I mean, it's a moral construct, so maybe both? Um... Uh, maybe we should just read this? Oh, wow. Beautiful woman sat by... You know what? Let's just use the text. A beautiful woman sat by the river, which a witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned into fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness, and the woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping, until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When she was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Interesting. I... Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. 
Aha. I see. So obviously Ethan... Oh, oh shit. Um, so I guess this is sort of like the witch's hut. What is this? Text. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. And I know I got it snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious being. You just gotta pull your head out of the clouds, okay? So, Ethan's mom is not very supportive of his, of his creativeness. Um... Ethan is constantly sort of like has his head in the clouds and um, and that's okay I guess except now that I'm except now I'm lost I, I think right okay no I'm not I'm pretty sure that's the direction I was coming from okay so um, uh, so we are still none the wiser except that uh, Ethan w was kind of like always has his heads in the cloud and, and he's he's always trying to figure out ways in which to um, have fun and sort of like avoid reality. Which, to be fair, just sounds like pretty much every single kid that is like nine years old. At, at the same time, it also sounds like a, a lot of adults, particularly those who play video games, and uh, comment on them. Holy shit. Um, are we... Did that actually help at all? No. Pull. Touch. Hmm. All right, it seems like we haven't um, revealed all that much yet. Um, but it's okay. I think I think it's a I think it's a good I, I think it's actually a good place to end. Um, we're gonna come back uh, to this hopefully. Um, hopefully you'll have enjoyed my ranting and walking around this uh, creepy place, and we'll be back and we'll try and solve all future mysteries. Um, so until then, everybody, take it easy. Bye-bye.